Hey, hey. Emote only mode is on. Oh, that's weird. Here, I got it. What's your go-to grub when you're gassing off the grizzly? Whoa, what a way of asking that question. Uh, I don't really have a go-to, I don't think. Thanks, Risa Blamos. And Mishima. Death Storm. Resub King Potato and Bakery. Hey, Ash. Have you done a moist meter on Tokyo Ghoul? No, that predates the moist meter. Not a quick text. Okay. Thanks for five. Give sub optic. Appreciate it. And the resub swaggy. Just finished Fallout. It's the best adaptation ever. It's up there. It's very good. I don't know if I'd give it the best ever, though. Thanks for Prime Dreams. anime are you currently watching right now just ninja kamui to catch up and it's terrible i'm one episode away it's awful thanks resub chef resub connor glad you came around to the the right side of history tyler planes are scary and i'm still at fishman island in one piece Thanks for some Crovis, Crovis. We said Cass. Hey, soggy cereal. Keep up the good shit. You've been crushing it. And the only game I'm grinding right now is Rainbow Six Siege. I just hit gold, but I'm making a push for plat. Thanks for Prime Tristan. Thanks for membership, Patty. Yeah, that KO was nuts, Patty. Have you heard about the rapper who's beefing with Mr. Beast surgically implanted gold chains to his head? What do you... What? What is that? A rapper beefing with Mr. Beast just implanted gold chains to his head? There's the membership, Connor. I'm gonna give some toxic. Membership, Adonis. And I've never even heard of that show, Adonis. And thanks, B. Membership, Fobsy, and Metal. And membership, Brandon. Who is it? I want to see who's beefing with Mr. Beast. The rapper. Thanks, Membership, Flane. YouTube buggin'. You talking about the new UI? And yeah, Fallout's actually good. Thanks, membership. Warfield. YouTube is tripping out. What's happening with it? Hey, Rocket Sloth. YouTube is down, is it? Like, in what way? All of my YouTube subscriptions just disappeared. Yeah, I can see it's not updating or anything on my end. Thanks for some moo cow. Thanks to tier one blast. Membership Maz. Hope the science fiction novel is going well, Fire Truck. Yeah, I can see YouTube on the back end is like not updating anything, but 
It doesn't seem like anything's down for me. Let's see. So you said subscriptions aren't working? Well, let me just try and go to here. Yeah. Like in what way? Go on your phone. Try to like a video. Alright. I... That worked for me. Jesus, that sounds crazy, Adonis. Let me try on my phone since people are saying it's mobile. Oh, yeah, you're right. On mobile, none of the subscriptions load. I immediately can't go to anything. Thanks a membership rendezvous. No, we finished Gears of War 2 yesterday. We'll do Gears 3 soon. I'm still grinding Siege as well, so we'll probably do Siege tonight. And then once I make my push for plat, go to Gears 3. But yeah, you're right, YouTube does not work on the phone right now. I'm sure it'll get fixed pretty soon, but yeah, it is completely down. What's your least favorite game genre? Probably MMO. I think most MMOs are just dog shit. Thanks, membership, Matt. I'm on my phone right now. Go to your subscriptions. Like, you can you can click on things. But it doesn't look like you can interact with anything. So, like, you can click on a stream, you can click on a video, but it doesn't look like you can leave a comment or like anything. At least I can't. And then the, script, the subscriptions tab has nothing. So all subscriptions are gone. Thanks to tier one, bro. Hey, happy birthday. I don't know, how do I say that name? Tenoya? Hope you have a good birthday. Yeah, let me see. I'm gonna look it up. Let's see if this is a widely reported problem that just started happening. seeing quite a bit of it and no I have not built it I'm keeping it in the box close the app on mobile then reload it just fixed it let's see nope that did not not for me it's just a YouTube thing right now The alpha coach did a response TikTok. Yeah, I saw. It was pretty cringe. Thanks for your sub mousy. And I hope you enjoy the major, Jake. You're about the retired chiropractor who killed an Elvis impersonator by chloroforming him during coitus. What a statement. Let's see. There's a tier one mini. Thanks, Anthony. 
Retired chiropractor killed Elvis impersonator by chloroforming him more than once during sex. How is he accused of manslaughter? Wouldn't that be murder? <laughs> After chloroforming him for the ninth time, he really didn't expect him to stop breathing. A retired chiropractor from upstate New York is facing manslaughter charges after he allegedly killed an Elvis Presley impersonator by chloroforming him during sex. Ronald Ray Hare, 69, is accused of restraining and binding Thomas Kreider, 40, then admin administering a dangerous dose of chloroform more than one time during the sexual encounter which led to his death on, the, on April 5th. Four days after his death, he went to the county, the Saratoga County Sheriff's Office and reported that his body was in the basement of his home. He was arrested and charged with second-degree manslaughter and evidence tampering for removing Kreider's things from the crime scene. It is unclear where he got the chloroform. The investigators said the two had known each other for many years, and both the sexual encounter and chloroform use appeared consensual. But why, why would you want to be chloroformed during sex? There's a prime unit. Crane machine's still a work in progress with making it work with chat. Did you hear about Neon? He's not dead. I, how do people fall for that shit? It's just from like the most unreliable sources ever. Neon is not dead. He's still detained, as I understand it, but he's not fucking dead. Thanks for your sub, Sunny. No, I haven't seen that Torrance, but that sounds like a bunch of baloney. No, YouTube's not working for pretty much everyone right now. It's just a service problem. I don't know how we get into F1. That is way too expensive for us. Zerisub Dezashi, 50k for animation. What are you referring to? It's just the UI, though. Yeah, it seems like it's just... Well, I mean, even on the back end, nothing's loading on my side. But it looks like you can't see subs and you can't like interact with a video on mobile there's a prime cherry I imagine it'll be fixed pretty quickly there's a tier one crow In the prime vacant. There's a membership of Eden. You hear about the massive underwater object that radars picked up? Yeah, we talked about it on stream. It turned out to be a, an error on their end. Not the underwater UFO production facility that a couple people on Twitter popped off when talking about. Thank you, Prime J. There you Hannah. Yeah, you can check, definitely check that out, Penguin. I think it's the tier one goal in the resub hain. Yep, we talked about the Detroit sign and the diss track. We did both. I love the Detroit sign. Thanks to give sub Aiden. And here, yeah, I'll pull up the alpha response, I suppose. I wasn't going to bother, but it is kind of cool, I guess.
Makes it tier one. John. Got an hour and a half left. Well, actually, hour and a half, two hour drive back home. Okay. We'll briefly talk about it. The guy from yesterday, the dating coach alpha male, made a response. I usually don't bother, but this one had me giggling, so I'll talk about it a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll slap around here in the cesspool for a moment. Brings it to your one chaos and the five gifts of sailor. Because this is a response I would have never predicted in a thousand years. This is truly a unique one. Got an hour and a half left. Well, actually, hour and a half, two hour drive back home. And I was going to make this video when I get back home, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to do it now. This creator made a video about me. He has 14.9 million followers. This is a big, big fish. So I'm not even going to return fire and mock him like he mocked me. There's plenty of material, but we're, we're going to skip that. Anyways, here's... You shouldn't have skipped that. That's like the most important part. You should have absolutely started mocking me. You said there was plenty of material. Why not have used it? Immediate fumble there. Also, 20 seconds to explain that you were going to do this at another time and then decided not to, so you're doing it now. You could have just started with some mocking insults there. Rookie. Absolute rookie. Not an alpha. Here's the interesting thing. This is what we're going to do with this guy. But if you're watching this, if you sign my NDA that I have my $3,000 a month client sign, I will show you what I show them, which is just the massive abundance. Because you said I didn't get women and I don't get models and stuff like that. And I'm going to just show you. I'm just going to open my, open my entire world to you. And after your brain's done melting, what you have to do after is compose yourself and then make a video about the fact, like apology, and saying, I'm sorry, I was incredibly wrong and I didn't know what I was talking about. Do you not know how an NDA works, Dom? I mean, of course not. With your team of lawyers, you can't be bothered understanding the, the law. An NDA would prevent me from talking about what I experienced. If you had me sign an NDA and showed me your harems, I wouldn't be able to talk about them or I'd be sued. I'd be breaking the NDA, you fucking degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is all a bunch of gobbledygook. This man, he's just throwing out terms I don't think he understands at all. Why the fuck would you want me to sign an NDA for that? Wouldn't you want to be flexing that? Because you do everywhere else. Why would you want to flex it in person? What? Why would I need to sign into secrecy for your fucking cult? That wouldn't make any sense. You would want me talking about it. Is this the same guy who said never take a girl's rejection? You're putting words in his mouth. He said you don't have to accept a girl's rejection. Who's the five gift subs, George? Or the five gifted members, George. But he also said, I said that he doesn't get women and models. Shit, I didn't say that. When did I say you don't get women? I'll say it now because I know you don't get women. I can tell you, you are not mastering the female mind. You haven't mastered the female anything or experienced it. Now I'll say it. I didn't say it then. I was just making fun of you because your advice is super stupid. <laughs> but I didn't say it then. I didn't say you don't get models. In fact, I even said you probably had a threesome with some models right before recording one of your videos about how you should put a finger with a glove inside of a woman and rake her. Like, I mean, I said you probably just finished with models. The man's fighting ghosts. Let's read some stones. I'm gonna give some Paul. Did he mean a dishwashing glove? I'm assuming he meant like a, like a surgeon's glove. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to know for sure. As a woman, rake. Yeah. What? Why are you acting so surprised? He knows better than you. He knows your body better than you know it. What? You're a woman. Come on, you can't... It, Alpha Dom knows you better than you know you. Please, don't don't try and poke holes in his sexual logic. Are you out of your mind? Jesus Christ. That's insulting. Dom, don't worry. I, I've got you covered. Is the membership safer? The resub death lord. I also love the fantasy that he's locked himself in, like the the Narnia he's trapped his brain in, where he thinks that by showing me women in his life, I'm going to have a psychotic break. Like I'm going to melt down upon seeing this redditor with women. 
Yeah, and once his mind's done fucking melting, he's gonna have to give me all of these updutes and gold all of my karma. Yeah, <sighs> just make sure you sign my NDA first. I'm sorry, sub Katie. Oh, absolutely. AI shit like that's gonna be huge in a couple of years. Alpha Dom is absolutely fucking amazing at getting women, and I have seen it firsthand now. But, but yeah, that's the deal. Can you do that? I'm just wondering. Uh, if you're one of his subscribers and you're swarming my TikTok or YouTube account, they go weren't. tell him. Also, dude, go, if you want to get in contact with me, because my DMs are, like, fucked up, and there's very rare chance I'm going to see you in the comments, hit me up on Telegram. Telegram's in my TikTok bio. Alpha Dom 1C. There you go. See you soon. Thanks for the tutorial on how to find you, bub. This TikTok was his whole reaction. Yeah, one of the biggest eye-opening things here is that he said some of his clients spend $3,000 and have to sign an NDA to see his to life. If that's not the most pathetic thing I've ever heard online, I don't know what is. I don't think anyone is paying him $3,000, but he's really trying to make it seem like they are. $3,000 to not even get real advice or anything and you sign an NDA to watch him allegedly get women. Is there a worse existence? Jarvis Johnson bought his course to try it? When? Wait, Jarvis Johnson bought the Alpha Dom go to jail method? When? Things in the membership rage. Oh, a day ago. Wait, you're right. Oh, <laughs> wait, that's fire. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. I considered it for a minute, but I really didn't want to spend $197 on it. Like, I'm all for wasting money on stupid shit for the sake of content, but giving it to this guy who's like, the fucking Discord mod embodiment is just not worth it. But I'm glad someone took the bullet. I'll check that out to see what the conclusion he drew was. The NDA is so you can't tell anyone you got scammed. I'm ass assuming that's probably what it's for, for his $3,000 pay piggies. Well, I guess the idea behind it would be my guess. I'll definitely have to watch Jarvis take the. Actually, hold on. Let me let me let me take a little a Hello little dive again. in here. When does he buy it? So he's going through the TikToks here. This is him in his leather jacket. This is when this is him in pussy slaying demon mode. If you see him wandering around town like this, hide your mom, hide your girlfriend, hide your sister, because none of them are safe. Wait, what is this? Oh, here we go. Here's where he buys it. He's charging one hundred and ninety. Thanks to Prime dollars. Luke. This is a this is a sham. This is a scam. I recorded all of this criticism under the impression that he was charging ten dollars, which I thought was too much for his class. <laughs> Please check your email for the registration <laughs> link. If you can't find it, check your spam folder. I have not received ten dollars. You think he's gonna give you the Krabby Patty secret formula to slaying any amount of pussy you want, Jarvis? Are you out of your mind? He's given you a great deal at $197 for the keys to the kingdom. Email. Wow. He was in my spam folder. He knew. Exit he tier was one like, I Mits know what I am. Or I'll show up in your spam. So, I felt on the fence about talking about this guy because of the size of his actual audience. He is inflating, almost definitely inflating the size of his... Uh, Don't be afraid. Two, He's a scammer. Module three. Here we go. Body language, pacifying behavior, nerves and anxiety, vocal tone, emotional intelligence, cocky funny why it works, cocky funny how to use it. Hoflation? Hoflation oh. is the belief that when your grandmother or grandfather or great-grandfather or great-grandmother were younger and they met, he had to work way less... Then you have to work today in order to get a girl that's 
four times less than what your great grandmother. Your... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that's a lot of. Uh, yeah. Well, wait. I gotta process that as well. That's a lot of uh, algebra he's doing there. He needs to break down the honomics a little bit better. It's he's using advanced calculus. Christ, man. I graduated with a human science degree, not mathematics. I, I wasn't ready for that one. There's, dude, there's more math than I was expecting. Let me take some notes. Four times less. You have to work four times harder. This is how I'm gonna I'm gonna blow the lid off this in front of you right now, okay? <laughs> this is how you know this is a beta wussy poor me saying. Okay. The word work is in it. Okay. Work work is for pussy. <laughs> Is you have to work four times harder. Men are too worried about putting work in. Obviously, you're here. Obviously, you're watching the course, so you're a little bit different. Yeah, you're a little bit... <laughs> That's my reaction as well. You're a little bit more pathetic. You spent $197 on it. You definitely are a little bit different. You're you're much more hopeless. Maybe, maybe work should be viewed a little bit differently if you're in this course. Thanks, membership body farm. I'm a little bit different. Thank you. Hopeflation is good. You can be massively different if you apply it, though. He's a tier one man. The fucking one percent club that I'm in. What club is that? That he has six girlfriends that he dominates or whatever? I am single, so I do need to. I guess I should take better notes. So that's the big discrepancy. It's not that all women are bad. It's just that girls are looking for the best that they can get. And that's and Alpha it's Dom. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly. Did I get it? Do I pass? Yeah, no, no, that's, that's the lesson. Can get. And it's this guy. <laughs> and that's why I'm single. Uh, I think I figured it out. We're all in a day's work. You yeah, they just keep that choosing that Alpha Dom over me. Like, Fuck, I'm hopeless. These girls that had everything paid for them. Their husband was disconnected and working Things all the time. Matrix. And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm providing for her. And the girl leaves. <laughs> and that's on the news. Local woman leaves man who was giving her everything. More at 11. Your focus so how does this time... Man, I don't care about the whole flation anymore. How do I get laid all the time? You have to create how do I get 100,000 Tinder matches like Alpha Dom? Learning about whole flation's not getting me there. Give me the secrets. Where's the infinity stones of vagina? That has offended them. So the videos are highly edited. Things that reset um, bits you can and tell spud. That a lot of work really went into the production, which makes your ten dollars really feel like it was well spent. I'm gonna pay again. Actually, I'm gonna sign up for a second round. I flub lines all the time, by the way. His membership I joker. I just cut them out. But there's no editing done in these videos, so it's a glorified stream that's been cut into parts and sold for ten dollars. You get much more value on the Sad Boys Patreon. That's one hundred ninety-seven dollars. As low as five dollars, and we put an hour-long episode out every week. We've put out. 55 as of the recording of this 55 episodes of sad boys nights we will not teach you about hoflation we will not oh he doesn't go through the rest of it damn he paid for it and he's keep jarvis is keeping all the sacred wisdom to himself he's using module four right now with body language pacifying behavior damn damn it's just out of reach what the fuck is this bl feet and legs part two i'm assuming body language feet and legs part two the fuck kind of body language are you doing with your feet and legs? The only body language I can even think of for that is if you cross your legs because you have to pee real bad. The fuck out, what do I need to learn there? Things are resub jingle bug. No, YouTube's glitched. Yeah, YouTube's still down right now. Just buy it already? Man, fuck that. I'm not gonna bother. Especially now that I've seen it's just more of his TikTok videos that he puts behind a paywall. What the fuck is the point? I'll just wait for him to put him on his TikTok and giggle at him there. Or I guess pay $3,000 to sign an NDA so he can show me all of his 100,000 Tinder women and the thousand of women, the thousand women he fucks every month or whatever. Hey, congrats on the Vorkov pet. He's huge. Mmm. You might be onto something with that, Ram. Yeah, true, true, true. Thanks, Resub Serotonin. Why doesn't he have any women vouch for him? 
Uh, it's, it is interesting how he has a thousand women that he's piping on the daily, basically, but there's only one girl he ever posts about on his TikTok. That is odd. Guy like this can't be tied down to one girl, he's made that very clear. But, he, I mean, he has everyone sign NDAs, so they're not allowed to talk about him. That's probably why. Thanks, you resub, Jim. Is Resub Triflix? Yeah, I know, Beast. It is very odd. It's just a really successful, lucrative money-making method. But it's weird because usually people that look like him aren't the ones that's peddling this. It's usually people that like are in good shape and at least pretty good-looking for the most part. He's really breaking new ground. Good for him. He's saying, look, I might be in charge of 50 different subreddits, but on the side, I'm fucking women. I promise. Now give me money and I'll teach you how. True doomed. And that is very true deep state. <laughs> hey, nice. That's fucking awesome, Zach. Isn't this guy breaking the NDA? Jarvis? No, he signed up for, like, the starter course. Basically going bowling with the bumpers up when it comes to getting women with the uh, alpha dom course so he didn't have to sign an nda but if you want the three thousand dollar premium ham steamers society badge that's when you sign the nda thanks resub bert Probably right, Ram. The sad part about this is how many young guys who are insecure actually believe him. Yeah, I do wonder how many fall for this scam from this guy in particular, though. I feel like it's probably not that many in comparison to things like... Jesus, a modern-day night project and things like that. Or like even just like the more general alpha males you see all the time on Twitter. This guy just, he does not look the part, and he doesn't say the right things either. He's too noticeably dweeby. Thanks, Risa Boyster. I, I really don't want anonymous background info on this guy. <laughs> I really don't care that much. I just laugh at what he posts. I don't need to know his SAT scores. I don't need his life story. I know he got divorced because for some reason he was talking about it like it was a good thing, <laughs> but I don't care. I really do not. Thanks, Keith. You heard NASA possibly joining in on another Loch Ness monster search? I did. We talked about that actually. Let's do some accidentally. I love Loch Ness monster shit. I'm a huge cryptid guy. Ooh, what the fuck? Holy shit, Nathan. Thank you for the huge drop. I'm sorry to hear you've been feeling down. I hope things look up for you soon. Thank you for that. God damn, Nathan. Appreciate the generosity. Are you going to moist meter alien Romulus? Of course I will. Thanks to the Prime Bones. Are you excited for Rebel Moon Part 2 on Friday? I unironically am. I actually just saw a banger tweet about Rebel Moon. And it made me even more excited for Part 2. Because it's very clear that Zack Snyder makes these movies knowing full well that they're just not going to be good. Zack Snyder says the R-rated cuts of Rebel Moon are purposely over the top with sex and violence. We actually photographed the actors saying different dialogue. You actually knew as we were filming, like, okay, 
That's for the R-rated. What an unbelievably inefficient way of making movies. Film two versions, both, <laughs> well, one of them that you put out, unbelievably dog shit, and then just say, well, the good version's coming. The R-rated version we filmed is coming. Goober, just make a complete product that's good the first time around instead of, like, holding on to the better version. It's so dumb. So I have no doubt part two is going to follow the same problem of just being unbelievably bad. And then it'll be like, yeah, well, that's because the good one's the R-rated version. Yeah, he's dropping actual fucking DLC for his garbage. Thanks for the membership, Elijah. Exactly, Body Farm. That's exactly right. And yeah, I did see about that, Hugh. Thanks for Prime Omar. Snyder really went 180 on the public's opinion. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just really, and it, his fans don't do him any favors. They are vicious. For no reason. They, they're viciously defending tedious chores of, like, movies and TV shows. I think they do it just because they've been so long on his side that it's hard to let go. But man, Rebel Moon is an indefensibly boring film that hardly works together. Yep, we talked about that, Insomniac. Thanks for the gifted member, Goofus. And I am excited for ReZero Season 3. Wouldn't it just be so he can get a PG rating and have a wider target audience? Stupid plan. That's a stupid plan. Even if that is what he's going for. R-rated movies reach a very wide audience. Some of the highest grossing films of the last couple years are R-rated. Oppenheimer. Dune 2. I mean... Those off the top of my head being the highest grossing by a large margin. Unless he's making comedies, it really doesn't matter. There's a Prime Transit. Dune 2's not R, isn't it? Wait, am I misremembering? I thought Dune 2 was R. Oh my god, you're right. I really thought that was R. Okay, then not Dune 2. Thanks a gifted member, Elijah. And I think they all have zombies to some degree doomed. I'd have to really think about ones that don't. FDA is finally cracking down on lead and applesauce. That's cool. It's about time. Deadpool 3 going to make a fuck ton even though it's R. Deadpool was like the first R-rated movie to go absolutely ballistic in the box office, yeah. What were the top grossing movies for 2023? I know Barbie, Oppenheimer, Super Mario, Guardians. Oh yeah, that was, that was immediately the top four. Fast X, Spider-Man, Wonka, Little Mermaid, Mission Impossible, Elemental, Ant-Man, John Wick. That was the top. Thanks, Reeseb Colin. Do you have any predictions on the future of hip hop war between Drake versus majority of known rappers and artists? No, but it is pretty entertaining to watch. Thanks, Reeseb and Nic Nicole's. <clears throat> Well, that does sound pretty cool, Arrow. He's a membership Italian. You think Fallout will come back with gaming after the show? Now that the show is doing well? I mean, I don't think they ever planned on abandoning gaming. Oh, well, that's super sweet. Well, thank you, Elijah. Yeah, I saw the Blizzard dev say that tipping developers isn't a bad idea. Actually, hold on. Let me just pull up the exact one. Uh, 
I have not seen that. Aston. But I can look it up. The former boss of Blizzard Entertainment has suggested a post-purchase tip feature that would let players give 10 to 20 extra dollars to the developers of special games. That's definitely not going to the developers. That's just going to the studio. The developers won't see a dime of that shit. Former Blizzard president Mike Ybarra tweeted that he's often felt that upon completion of a, of a particularly enjoyable single-player game, he'd like to give more money to the developers because it was worth more than my initial $70 and they didn't try to nickel and dime me every second. I don't know what world you're living in. <laughs> I really, I don't know. I don't know what he's playing. Most of the $70 games that are coming out are really kind of half-baked and focused on trying to nickel and dime you. Oh, I'd be down, Shane. Sure. I'd take a peek at it at the very least. And you're probably not wrong about that, Castilla. Games Ybarra mentioned that had sparked such a feeling include Gorilla's Horizon Zero Dawn, Sony Santa Monica's God of War, Rockstead's Red Rocks Jesus, Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption 2, Larian's Baldur's Gate 3, and some from, from software's Elden Ring. I know $70 is already a lot, but it's an option at the end of the game I wish I had at times. Some games are that special. It's fair to say that the reaction to the suggestion is mixed, with many people saying they're already forking out plenty of money for video games. Others have pointed out that some games, some game platforms such as Itch.io already allow tips and that small indie developers often use established platforms for donations. Many have also pointed out that any extra revenue generated through these tips would invariably end up in the pockets of the publishers as opposed to the developers themselves, at least for the majority of AAA releases. And if such a system were to hit the likes of Steam, the PlayStation Store or Xbox Store, would Valve, Sony, and Microsoft all expect a cut? Yeah, of course they would. 100%. It's a stupid idea. Thanks to the membership cat. Is everything $70 nowadays? Not everything. Most AAA games are going the path of $70, but not all of them. It's gradually shifting over, though. I have no idea, Wuto, but I really like Invincible, so I'll hope that the live action is good if they make one. Helldivers 2 was like 30. Yeah, Helldivers 2 was 40, so. That game is doing everything right. It's also not AAA. But that game is doing everything right. That's a, I mean, that's good then, Ram. Things the resub sees. Thanks to the membership, Ashy. On the other hand, others have backed the idea. Paul Kilduff Taylor. What a name. Kilduff Taylor. Of Mode 7 Games tweeted, People have discovered various ingenious ways to be angry about this, but adding a pay more if you want option to major stores would straightforwardly be excellent for devs. It works very well on Bandcamp. Yeah, it works well on Bandcamp because it's people independently releasing those projects. They actually see the money, the pay what you want model. The devs aren't going to see this shit. Like it mentions up here, the platforms are going to want to cut, and the publishers are mainly going to get that tip. Doesn't help the devs at all. There's a membership, Antonio. Bad comparison. With the new update to Call of Duty League, would you be interested in joining the CDL? Oh, we can talk about that in a minute. That was actually crazy to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll pull that up. But I want to finish talking about this. That's probably like the biggest esports shift I've ever seen from like a major esport. It was unreal.
No, this isn't like a real thing they're implementing or anything. And this was just the former Blizzard head saying that it's a cool idea. Yabara ended his post acknowledging that the tipping idea won't be for everyone. I know most will dislike this idea, he said. By the way, I realize we are tired of tipping and everything else, but I view this different from a pressure to tip type scenario many face and give feedback on. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know why you'd view it differently. It's kind of just the same thing. They've added tipping to self-checkout machines, man. These are tier one bells. I mean, I think it's a cool idea, Ram. I guess we'll see how it goes. He's a prime rogue. Tipping your landlord. Ugh. That was just a meme. That wasn't like a real movement they were trying to make. But yeah. Ugh. Here's hoping, Elijah. How else do we keep the robots in check? Yeah, I tipped the uh, Walmart self-checkout machine as an investment into my safety in the future. He'll remember that. Tipping in general is just crazy to me. As a European, nobody's job should depend on it. I know, man. It's tragic. But it's not like, like there's nothing to really do to fight back against it. If you refuse to tip, the only person you're hurting is like the normal person that's working the job. So I always tip a lot. But I really do hate that they're not paid a decent wage for the work they do and instead have to rely on people to tip. It's fucking stupid. It is so stupid. RNG income. <laughs> Jeru. Yeah, RNG income. That's the way to do it, Jonathan. Some owners of places take the tips behind closed doors. Well, that's very sad. Yeah, I believe it. Hey, glad you're enjoying Invincible Warfield. Have a good night, man. What do you mean by that? Kachiro? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Loot box salary is the future. Amen, brother. Loot box salary is the future. I did see that DJ Khaled clip. I keep up with everything DJ Khaled adjacent. Is the membership Elijah? You think you'll replay the newer Fallout games on stream? New Vegas 3 and 4? I talked about that. Yeah, that'll be a series we go through at some point. Yeah, no, there's tipping and everything. I don't exactly know what that is, though, Kaya. And I know about it, Rim. We talked about the Readyverse. Things in the membership, home slice. I hate the revisionist history right now where Fallout 76 was always good. That happens with everything ever. It is infuriating. Let's not forget, Fallout 76 was a broken mess for like a whole year. It was a joke of a game that rightfully buried the franchise for a while. The show revitalized it, but that game was trash. Like, it was non-functional for, like, a whole year. And I remember even when they did fix it, there were still so many bugs. Like, there was a bug in there where players could just steal all of your shit while you were... No, no, no. What was it? No, no, no. It was more than that. Like, they had some of the most unique bugs. Fuck, what was it? They could, like, go into your account. Like, the account itself and take your shit. Like, while you were offline or something. Fuck, what was it? What am I thinking of? It was a crazy one. Because, like, the only diehard players left just started having all of their shit taken. Oh, yeah, the dev rooms. You could go to the dev rooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Morgan. That's a lot. 
And I had no idea about that manic, but I, I guess I can see that perspective. And yeah, we talked about that JRE guest a while back. 76 was a terrible game. Don't let anyone convince you that it was ever good. Oh yeah, and they could never even deliver on their pre-order bag. That was a huge thing as well. They couldn't even finish their fucking pre-order stuff. Have you seen the Tippy cartoon skit about tipping the AI self-checkout? It's six months old called Tippy. I have not seen it, but that's exactly what I was just talking about. I'm glad someone made a skit about it. Thanks, Risa Bedge Runner and the Prime Swavy. Fallout 76 is way better now. What the fuck? Maybe play it before you start shitting on it. I did play it when I paid all the money for it up front. And it was a scam. It was a non-functional scam. Just because they fix it four years later doesn't mean that it was any less of a scam. It was a dog shit game. They couldn't even... They gave up on delivering their pre-order bonuses of the, the bags. It's unforgivable. I'm glad they fixed it eventually, I guess. But it doesn't forgive the past. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't know, I just, I just always see it, Elijah. There's a membership snafu. The canvas bag wasn't even the worst part of it. They also had the $80 plastic Nuka rum bottles as well as power armor helmets that literally had mold. I only vaguely remember that. I just really remember the bags. I'd like to at some point, Manic, but not anytime soon. The helmets were recalled due to being toxic. I'll look it up. Oh yeah, the Fallout 76 replica helmets. Recalled because of dangerous mold. You're right. I did not remember that. These are resub purple. The Nuka-Cola themed helmet was sold at GameStop, not included with the collector's edition. Collectible helmet produced to celebrate the launch of Fallout 76 is being recalled because it contains dangerous levels of mold. While no incidents or injuries have been reported this time, consumers are urged to contact the retailer and return the product. Cool. So this wasn't even from them, though. This is just a Fallout 76 adjacent disaster. Nice. Whoa. After our article was published, a representative from Chronicle Collectibles reached out to let us know that of the 20,000 Nuka-Cola themed helmets that were manufactured, only 32 were sold. It says that all of those customers were directly notified about the recall. All 20,000 units have been recalled. They produced 20,000 of these bastards and only sold 32? That's gotta be the worst marketed product of all time. What a flop. What in tarnation? Sold at GameStop. Yeah, but even still, 20,000 and only selling 32 is crazy. That's a huge miss. Thanks, Arisa Robo. This shit's still a scam. Their in-game shop charges 15 to 20 bucks for everything, even power armor paints and fucking emotes. I haven't checked in on the game in the last, like, two years, so I couldn't tell you. Take your word for it, I guess. Did you read the article from The Independent on how Fallout and other video game movies are now too, fa too faithful? They might be desperate. That's clearly manufactured rage bait. Now I'm gonna bother engaging.
None that I can think of, Badger. Thanks for Prime Tim. My sister worked for Burlington where they forced the cashiers to always ask for donations or be fired. They would net 30k a week and keep a portion. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. He's a prime billion. Have you seen the theory that Diddy killed Biggie so we could so he could get all his royalties and stay rich? I've seen that, but there's not a lot of proof behind that one. The Diddy killing like that that I, that that doesn't have a whole lot of evidence. He's a prime kin. But I mean with Diddy, I guess you can't really write anything off. That guy is an unhinged lunatic. Super villain. Thanks for your sub Jordan. No, it still has quite a few players, Moon. It's just I kind of finished with it. You ever played Frostpunk? No, but I know all about it. <clears throat> Is New Vegas worth playing? Yes. 100% yeah. Were you serious about the Fallout series being good? I wanted to watch, but after how bad the Halo one was, I'm scared. Well, you should be scared, rightfully. I mean, the... the Video game adaptations, well, it, really any adaptations are super hit or miss, but Fallout show is a hit. I have yet to see any really good complaints about it. The only complaints I've seen are ones that are legitimately trying to fish up any reason to dislike it. There's plenty of things you can not like about it, but to say the whole show is bad for whatever reasons they drum up is just wrong. It is a very good adaptation. And even if you don't know Fallout or like Fallout, it's just a good show on its own two feet. It's, like, actually good. It's rare. Let's resub Dafty. Does it spoil any of the games? No, not at all. It just takes place in the universe and it tries to fit into the timeline the best that it can. It does like the more I think about it, there are a couple things that happen in the show that don't really make a ton of sense in the timeline, but I don't think they're in like a corner where they can't explain it away with a season two and like make it work. So I really just don't have any complaints. At least not with my understanding of the Fallout lore. Yeah, I plan on doing that, Preston. Yeah, we talked about it, Nate. We just went over that. Is there some skeleton? Oh yeah, here we can talk about the Call of Duty stuff real quick. Very, very rare. Activision W here. This was one of the more unexpected things I've ever seen in this industry. I've talked about how much of a scam the Call of Duty League is, the CDL. It was a $20 million buy-in to franchise in this league. <laughs> which, complete waste of money. Unbelievable waste of money. And now they're completely changing it. So, not only are they getting rid... Oh, it's $25 million, sorry. Not only are they getting rid of that... They are refunding the teams that paid it. Entirely. They are refunding the entire fucking thing. So if you bought into this scam, they're basically doing like what Logan Paul did with CryptoZoo. They're like, yep, you got scammed, we'll pay you back. But unlike Logan Paul, they are actually doing it, it sounds like. 
So they're getting their money back. They're getting rid of that. They're also increasing the revenue that you'll earn through the CDL. So things like uh, skin bundles, um, any kind of like likeness of your org in Call of Duty, you get a higher cut of, a higher split. Like all, like they're also, I think, I'll have to check this, but I'm pretty sure they're subsidizing hosting your own tournaments as well. So they're like supporting the scene as like even outside of the CDL. Like all of it was just kind of a tremendous W. I don't even like Call of Duty, but this was like impressive. Yeah, actual profit sharing. Let me see though. I'm pretty sure they're subsidizing hosting your own tournaments. Let me double check though. Yeah, here we go. Additional changes include an increase in subsidy amounts for teams organizing in-person events and a two-year minimum rev revenue guarantee for teams. Like, come on. What a move. Like, what an actual big move. Guarantee this wouldn't have happened if Microsoft hadn't bought them for $70 billion. You know, who, who really knows, huh? I did not hear it was under that, Leighton. I did hear about that happening, but I didn't know it was on that alert. I know, Body Farm. I was surprised as you. CDL has been a scam since its inception, but now, man, it's got a chance. I will actually start paying attention to the CDL just to see how this pans out. Like, I hope it does well. This is a great move for the esports industry. A great move. I can't, th I can't think of a single thing they did wrong with this change. It's everything people would want and more. Thanks for your sub, Owl. And thanks, Kev. I just made the account when I was a child, Kachido, that's all. Thanks to Membership Soggy. Is it Prime Crazy? Meanwhile, Nintendo cries when you want to profit off Pro Smash. Well, yeah, Nintendo's 20 years late to pretty much everything when it comes to, like, the online world. They'll eventually get there. They're only doing this because of the lawsuit over the CDL fees. Oh, you're talking about the Optic lawsuit. Yeah, that's something else we talked about. Maybe this is in response to the Optic lawsuit. Either way, it is a W. Thanks for some Tony. And yeah, Bioshock is another franchise I'll play through on stream. And yeah, maybe maybe Moist gets a presence in CDL. Who knows? We'll see. I'll actually watch more of the events now. See if it's fun to spectate and cheer. Apparently Red Lobster is filing for bankruptcy. Thoughts? I'm surprised they're still open. I don't know anyone that still eats at a Red Lobster. They've just kind of fallen off. Most people go elsewhere now. Yep, I did see that, Butter. I saw that headline. Thanks, Fish. Siege Moist team would be huge. I am so fucking into Siege, man. Yeah, I definitely do want a presence in there. I absolutely love Siege. Oh, I used to love Resistance as well. That game was great. The Alone in the Dark speedrun is down to 25 minutes and has some crazy glitches. I'll check it out. Where's the world record? It's still 48 minutes. I'll go to speedrun.com for it. 
No, wait, what the fuck? When did that happen, Loop? I'll definitely look it up. Twenty five minutes. Thanks, membership, Sky. No, I might speedrun it if it has good glitches. We just speedran uh, the Home Alone game and unintentionally speedran Silent Breath. So I've been kind of on a speedrun world record streak. Let's just freeze. Thanks to tier one viz. Like my FPS dropped to 175. Do it tonight. We're looking at it, brother. If it looks like good route, we'll do it soon. Probably not tonight. I do want to grind Siege. But I'll do it soon. I love speedrunning. Yeah, my FPS dropped to like 175. But it like wasn't, I guess, the, the proper drop. Glitch. Four men's, four men's has the best glitch. Yeah, because right now it's just playing the game normally. But just knowing where everything is. Okay, this is four minutes. Wait, no, it's not. It's still three minutes. Just gotta. <laughs> just gotta. Just gotta hold it for a little longer. I. I. AKA Caroline. What happened here? You just stay paused for like an entire. Two minutes? Let's use some Drake and Chef. Have you done the quest speedrunning in OSRS? No. I only speedrun games with good glitches. I like the ones with deep oh, tech. Pray. That's a really long time to just hold pause. Thanks, Killa. Hey, Jordan. Jordan, a.k.a. Carolina. Carolina? Carolina. I don't know. If, this kind of looks like, um... God, what was that other game that had a glitch like that where you just spend most of the run running out of bounds, but there's not a lot of tech? I don't remember. But that's not super oh, fun. This fucking guy. Thanks a membership, Jericho. Atomic Heart. Yeah, 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 Atomic Heart. That was the one I was thinking of. You see how they got the cat game stray speedrun down to 47 minutes? Or Luigi's Mansion speedrun history? I speedrun Luigi's Mansion, but I haven't seen the history video. Hey, glad you enjoyed it, Elijah. And thanks, Moose. Yeah, I don't know. This, this doesn't seem like a super fun speed game. It looks like that's the primary glitch where it looks like you clip and then what hold forever. 
Have you speedrun any Souls games? I considered speedrunning Dark Souls 2 because it has the binocular glitch, which is like really cool movement, but it's so hard. Thanks, Membership Noble. Dark Souls 2 runs are tough. So probably not, and that's my favorite one. It's not my favorite Souls, not, not my favorite Dark Souls or anything, but my favorite Dark Souls speedrun, it's really cool. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's really interesting. The pre-patch. Thanks, Membership Soza. You just get this super speed and break the game. No, there's a lot more glitches than just that. It's just that's the main movement tech. And it's cool. This is the other main glitch that you'll see. A hundred percent, a hundred times more fun than playing this game normally. I do not get the Dark Souls 2 hate, man. I replayed this a couple years ago. It was still fun. It's definitely the clunkiest, jankiest of all the souls, but it's still fun, man. I still really enjoyed it. And the DLC was fire. He runs like a turkey. Eh, kinda. But yeah, it, that's a really cool speedrun, it's just way too hard for me. Flavored seasoning for sure on popcorn for me. I love rolling and lagging back into attack. Skill issue. Get better. <clears throat> Have you ever tried speedrunning Amnesia the Dark Descent? Tech is pretty wild. I don't remember the speedrun tech for Amnesia Dark Descent, but I have speedrun Amnesia the Bunker. Not Dark Descent, though. Is the resub strange? Thanks, Jim. You should play some old SNES games sometime. Eh, maybe. And yeah, I remember them, Archive. That was wholesome. Thanks for that, Stalker. Appreciate the long time of watching. Thoughts on Aiden Ross retirement. Are you the guy that keeps saying to check Aiden Ross Twitter? I highly doubt he's retiring, man. There's also no tweets there. I, I imagine he's not. Just like I imagine Neon's not actually dead. I, I don't think either of those things, either of those two things, are true. Did you see that someone named Sword Gaming is stealing content scripts and videos for Division Two and using an AI voiceover? Division 2, that still exists? Alright. But no, it's the first I've heard of that. But this is, if that is true, if they are just taking video scripts and using AI voiceover, welcome to the future. With all the AI tools being more readily available, you can, down, you can have things like, what is it, YTKS? Dot app, which is a YouTube video transcriptor. So you can plug in any link and it'll give you the entire video transcript. 
you could easily just take that, plug it into an AI voiceover, and slap a video together in two minutes. So welcome to the future. Oh, sorry, creative. There's a membership French Juice Galaxy speed runs. We've watched those, I think. And no, we don't do that, Gord. <clears throat> Do you think AI will be our main content consumption in the next 20 years? Um, It's hard to say. I keep flip-flopping on it. I don't think there will ever come a time where people want AI content, but there will come a time when they won't know it's AI content. So I keep flip-flopping on whether or not we're ever going to get to a point where people are like, oh, you know what, just have the AI entertain me. I don't, so I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. You're right, sorry, Crit. Hey, glad you like the speedrun then, Jesse. Kids, it won't matter. Yeah, I think all of kids' content will eventually be AI. That I do agree with. Kids aren't going to care. I mean, their shit's already mostly random mishmash nonsense as is. So that'll absolutely just be AI. No doubt in my mind there. I've seen some of those, Moke. I've watched almost all of the any kind of Mario speedruns. No, I mean like we just don't do that on stream is what I meant, Gord. favorite thing on the Burger King menu? Probably chicken fries, I guess. Either that or their Oreo pie, and that's just because it's Oreo that makes it, and I really like Oreo. And I know Keanu is playing Shadow. Great casting choice. <sighs> I have not Adro. What are they blowing the whistle on? I can see AI completely taking over the music industry. Maybe. We'll see. I think a lot of artists are going to use AI in their music to like help them craft it, or if they get stuck, to help them finish something. But I don't know if it'll ever be dominated by fully AI-generative music. At least not on purpose. Like People won't want that. Yeah, exactly. First draft AI and then build upon it 100%. That I can see being commonplace. Have it lay the groundwork for you and then you interject your own soul into it. So you build off of AI. That's probably how it's going to be utilized by most major artists down the line. Thanks, membership, Anthony. I don't know, man. What happened to my schlong goes way too hard. It does. That that actually does go hard. Of all the AI tracks I made that stream, what happened to my schlong is pretty fire. Is it Prime Core? Ooh, oh my god, dry. Jesus. AI will overrun. We have a bunch of 10-ish ASVABs that are flooding out military ranks. They have no idea how to talk to to a person in person but give them twitter and they are internet warriors trash school system they all get to wait what what is that i don't know what that means i don't know that acronym appreciate the huge drop though but yeah ai is going into every single avenue i don't exactly know what that one is but i again i don't think there's any job or any position that's safe from ai Not true, Bubba. I didn't participate in burrito speedruns. What's more unhealthy, eating large grams of sugar daily or eating greasy food daily? I'm wondering what I can give up on. I would say kick the sugar. At least the greasy food will make you feel fuller faster so you won't eat as much. 
the sugar foods usually won't. So if you're gonna, it's one or the other, get rid of sugar. Thanks to the tin gift subs, Ollie. Thanks for the big drop, man. Let me get a sub cap. Seen the video of the tow truck that tried to steal a woman's car while she was driving? I did not. When did that happen? Food chefs won't be taken over by AI. I don't think I've ever heard the term food chef. You could have just said chef. I would have known what you meant. I could absolutely see that being automated. You already see it being automated with McDonald's right now. There's a fully autonomous McDonald's in operation today. I think it's McDonald's. I hope I'm not wrong about that. But maybe like gourmet dining might be safe. Thanks for the gifted member, Tron. <laughs> Not even AI can save the Burger King menu. True. Amen. And I did not hear about that elephant scud. Good for them, I guess. Thanks to Prime Fluffy. Yeah, I love Conker's Bad Fur Day. Thanks to Membership Rain. From what I've heard, Lowe's Home Improvement Stores are making something called Lowbot. It's an AI robot that helps inventory and customers. Sounds about right. Thanks to Prime Strain. I have played Ultra Kill, I just haven't finished it. And thanks to give some ginger in the resub. Axonix. I go to one of the largest art schools in the world, and in their corporate partnership program, they replace student art with a lot of AI for forward-facing ideas. Eek. Well, that's no good. What about residential construction? I do HVAC, and I can see AI taking over. The, I can't see AI taking over that ever. The commercial side, maybe, but not normal houses. Let me see some ghost spider. Um. I don't know. I really can. 100% I could see that. But that'd be like in the deep future. That'd be like one of the last ones for AI to automate. Thanks, Resub Sarah. That one, you're not wrong. That one would be tough. I, I think that one would be very tough. But I don't, th like, I really think that can. Way off, <laughs> way down the line. AI will not end everything, stop spreading all this doomsday shit. When I say it's going to end everything, I'm just saying it's going to change everything, and it already is. And it's still primitive. What are you fucking talking about? It's not doomsday. It's just the facts, and you gotta learn to accept that, and prepare for it now. I don't think it can, Brian. What am I supposed to do? Not be surprised. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you can stop it or anything. Just don't be surprised. And just prep for it and try and figure out ways of working with AI. It's really about it. I already did a whole Soulsborne playthrough, Chocolate, but I will do another playthrough of Elden Ring before DLC. Yeah, 
No, I'm not gonna play it, Sauce. I don't know what the fuck's gonna be on it. But yeah, Suno's been churning out some crazy AI tracks. You can make some incredible stuff. Things are some money. Yeah, but that's just right now, James. And they, that's you asking for technical stuff. Which you don't need to in things in the creative field, in the creative sector. Yeah, they're making the whole Pooniverse. They got the Bambi horror movie, the Peter Pan horror movie, I know all of it. And yeah, it was a lot of fun to be a part of that, Jonathan. Have you seen the wall build on Elden Ring? Just did a playthrough with it. Which one was the wall? I remember it from the old ones, but what was it in Elden Ring? It's still pretty much the same. Nice. Let's read some Sarah. The last build I did in Elden Ring was the Sonic build back before that got nerfed. Been alright, hope you're doing well, Yash. I have not watched Three Body Problem yet. Did you see the Spanish politician that stepped down due to a video of him eating poop leaking out? Man, actually two girls, one cupped? No, I did not hear about that. Can I find it by typing in Spanish politician poop? Yeah, found it. Spanish politician resigns after resurfaced videos eating his own feces and asking to be humiliated. Man, you didn't have to eat shit. You could have just signed up for one of the alpha male boot camps. Where can I find the video? Oh, here it is. And yeah, we just talked about Red, Red Lobster. And we talked about Lunchables a couple days ago with the lead. I might do Ultra Kill at some point. Oh, it's censored. Come on, I want to see the... Show, show me the raw. This man actually eating poop? Thanks, membership, Riley. Wow, what a throwback, Mars. I remember when those kind of videos used to be really popular. I don't know, though. I'm not trying to get DMCA'd. I'm trying to find a guy eating poop video real quick. Yep, I'm still pushing in Siege. I'm gold right now. Man, these videos, or the, I guess, photos have been scrubbed. There's only one photo I've seen of him eating poop, and it's censored. Oh, no, here's an uncensored one. <laughs> He's making a pog face. It looks like he took... Took a, a bite out of the poop pile and then pogged. <laughs> he said he wanted to be exposed, humiliated, and degraded. Well, that's the way to do it. That I mean, eating poop and taking photos and whatever and posting them, that is how you will get that. Yeah, I'll have to look into it, Loopy, because that sounds fucking terrible. 
That's not a bad idea, Sky. Thanks for resub cheese. If Blippi survived it, I'm sure this guy can too. Yeah, but Blippi wasn't eating poop. Like if Blippi, here. For those that don't remember, Blippi had a video a long time ago with his old persona. It was HarlemShakePoop.com. He did the Harlem Shake and his shock was he shit into another guy's asshole. So he stood on top of a bathroom sink and his friend like bent over, like legs over head style and Blippi diarrheaed into his butt. For the Harlem Shake trend back in the day. And Blippi has clearly rebranded from that. And has be, he's become enormously successful. He's now a massive kids YouTuber. But if Blippi... If Blippi in the Harlem Shake poop video was the man getting pooped in, he probably wouldn't have come back from it. He was the shitter instead of the shitty. So... He was able to push forward unscathed. It's all about the positioning. Did they save that for the Snyder Cut? Yeah, they switched positions. We talked about this with Meat Canyon on the podcast a while ago because he didn't know about it. I'm always surprised more people don't know that. That was a very popular video back then too. It's like the number one like tidbit of blippy lore. He's addressed it, I think, like three or four times now. He's talked about it. He's like, yeah, you know, it was, it was a little wild back in the day. Regret it. it is what it is. Can't change it. He's like, yeah, you, you know, you're not wrong. Did their butts kiss? No, man. What? It was like the, their altitude was different. So Blippi was on the sink shitting into the other guy's ass. So he like blew his shit into his hole and it like runs down him and drips down him as they're like gyrating on the toilet no it was on the sink wasn't it I'm almost positive it was the sink but it's been a little while since I've seen it it might have been on the toilet can't quite recall now hey glad to hear that chip glad it's going well Thanks, Michael. What's the video called? HarlemShakePoop.com. It's still up. HarlemShakePoop.com still very much exists. <clears throat> I commend him for that. He never took it down. Oh yeah, that's what it was. That's what he went by back then. Steezy Grossman. That's right. Steezy Grossman was his old persona before Blippy. Yeah, maybe you're right, Mason. But wouldn't he take it down if he regretted it? Yeah, but you kind of caught between a rock and a hard place at that point. Because if you take it down, it's like you're trying to hide it. So like, you could make an argument like, oh, you know. He's trying to brush his past away as opposed to just taking it head on like a man. And then you also have the other side where it's like, well, why wouldn't he take it down if he regrets it? So, like, you can't really win in that situation. So, I don't know. Maybe he just made the decision that ultimately made the most sense to him. It's not going anywhere. Like, it's been re-uploaded a thousand times even outside of HarlemShakePoop.com. Lol, the guy almost vomits at the bottom. Yeah, that guy got the absolute worst end of that bargain. Blippi went on to be this massively wealthy, successful kids channel. The guy that he shit in, who who knows where he is? Man's probably under a bridge somewhere shaking his fist. Damn you, Blippi. Why, Harlem Shake Poop? You ruined everything. He created his own supervillain. 
Things are some Egbert. He probably also got some kind of infection from it too. From Ouroborosing poop. Though, I will say, it's not like all of it went inside. It wasn't like a slam dunk. Like, a lot of the shit missed, mostly. And got, like, a lot on his cheeks and on, like, dripping down his thigh. First take, you think? <laughs> I would say most likely first take. I would say with a high level of confidence, they probably went with the first take wonder on that one. Thanks for the membership status. No, not tonight in Siege. Probably doing Siege tonight. I know, it's, it's always surprising to me, more people don't know that. People have talked about that for a long time. But somehow it always just like falls to the wayside out of the public consciousness. Probably just because it is so yucky. Of course I saw it, it was a great, a great video and song. I was glad to be put in it. I think he, I think he explained how they came to that idea. I'll double check. It's been a while since I've not been down this rabbit hole, but I'm pretty sure Blippi talked about it. Like, the, the process of making the Harlem Shake poop. Because you'd have to wonder who would agree to be the guy that's getting shit on. I just gotta find an old interview. Oh, I might, since we're talking about it, I might as well look. Yeah, there's even a whole section dedicated to it on the Wikipedia. The 2013 video performed the Harlem Shake on a toilet and defecated on a naked friend. It was unearthed by BuzzFeed in 2019, and he said, At the time, I thought this sort of thing was funny, but really it was stupid and tasteless, and I regret having ever done it. Oh, it turns out he actually did use DMCA takedown notices to remove the video from social media. But, but the website's still up, isn't it? Maybe he just re-uploads. He's like, you know, if you guys are going to see it, I want you to go to the source. I want you guys to still support my domain. I appreciate it. Well, thanks, Dragon. And thanks for the membership, Bricks. Glad you're enjoying Skill Check. It's been a lot of fun. Far Cry 3 was good, but I didn't like it as much as everyone else seemed to. Well, let me go back though, see if I can find an interview that explains how they came up with the uh, the order of who was going to be shitting. Not doing more of it sooner, Jedi. I took a very long break a long time ago and I wish I didn't. Oh yeah, here. The report reveals how John Grossman's character featured in a number of adult-themed comedy skits and videos with names such as Turd Boy and Underwear Man. One video in particular entitled Harlem Shake Poop shows Grossman taking part in a particularly nasty version of the popular internet meme. The online challenge from 2013 consisted of one person dancing, yeah, and it just explains that. Uh, yes, I did make out gross out comedy videos when I was in my early 20s, long before I started Blippy. At the time, I thought this sort of thing... Yeah, okay. I've grown up a lot since then, and I trust people see me as the person I am now, not the idiot I was back then. I really thought he talked more about it. So I guess we'll never know how they decided who would be the one on the toilet and who would be the one on the floor. It'll remain a mystery. Yeah, I know, Gimme. Yeah, I know. 
It was pretty yucky. You see the Star Wars Outlaws trailer? Yeah, I don't think it looks very fun, but I'll give it a try. I play pretty much everything new that comes out. How much would you do it for? Have someone poop in me? I, I don't think there'd be enough money for that. I'm already a hypochondriac as is. I don't know if you could pay me enough for that. I'd be so afraid. There's a membership ghost night. That's probably exactly how it went, French. A mm. hundred million dollars. I mean, yeah, I guess a hundred million dollars, but that's not like a reasonable amount. No one would ever pay that. I think the guy was talking within like a realm of reason of like sick fetishists. No one would ever pay a hundred million dollars to Hershey squirt in my ass or anything. P. Diddy would. Not even P. Diddy would. P. Diddy would sooner send a League of Assassins to force me to do it for free than pay a hundred million dollars for the privilege. I think it's scripted, Zach. I know what you're referring to. And I am familiar with the content. Was that True Sky? Because I thought that got overturned. I can double check, though. I'm pretty sure that guy got reinstated. <clears throat> Did you hear about the Miss AI beauty pageant with the grand prize being 20 grand? Miss AI. Miss AI is here. AI generated contestants will compete for the title of Miss AI in the first AI beauty pageant. That is the most awful idea for a competition. What? Contestants will be judged on both their appearance and their engagement stats. The competition is the first installment in a program awards presented by the World AI Creator Awards. And its inaugural part, inaugural Jesus, inaugural partner FanView, a subscription platform that hosts AI content. According to the website, it's dedicated to recognizing the achievements of AI creators around the world. So cringe, AI creators, you're you're you fucking prompt makers. You're not an AI creator. What a load of fish paste! <laughs> I hate that. Like it's, you want to make AI goofiness? Go for it. But don't call yourself like an artist or something or an AI creator. <laughs> Prompt engineers, yeah. Do they mean the developers? I, maybe. I don't know. The way it reads with this competition is more just the people that put in the prompts to generate the images. But I guess hey, we'll keep reading. We'll see. Uh, they'll assess the contestants based on their beauty, tech, and clout for the chance to earn the Miss AI crown. Judges will take into account classic elements of pageantry such as looks, poise, and answers to questions. But contestants will also earn points for their technical skill and implementation of AI tools. Lastly, judges will consider contestants' reach on social media, i.e. the rate of audience growth and how they engage with fans on their platform. Uh. Uh. I think it's the membership hoop. <laughs> let Pink let Pink Floyd choose the winner. Yeah. The Miss AI panel of judges include two of the world's biggest AI creators, Aitana Lopez and Emily Pellegrini. Lopez and Pellegrini are both fully digital personas and have garnered millions of followers and even brand deals. The rest of the panel includes leading pageantry historian Sally Ann Fawcett and marketing guru Andrew Block. I'm unfamiliar with these AI creators here. So this is Aitana Lopez. Let me take a let me take a look.
300k followers on Instagram, earning $23,000 a month. God, that's so, oh my God, that's so awful and so awful. That is so bad. Oh, I'm looking at it real quick. It's not coming up for me. Oh, here it is. Ugh. She, she is very popular. Like, why leave this comment? So, her most recent post. She posted 10 hours ago, and it's just a, a selfie. An AI selfie of this image. And just reading the comments. Always beautiful. Perfecto. Hearts. Absolutely beautiful. So pretty. Love your hair. Wow. Absolute amazing heart emoji emojis. Like, what? Thanks for five gift subs, Jack. And the resub king. They don't know. They'd have to, though, because even in here, it says immediately up front that it is a virtual soul digital creator. Like, powered by AI. Like, it made it very clear. This is not a real person. They have to be bots. Let me see. Let me, I'm going to click one. I don't think they're bots. Oops. We'll go to the very first one. Absolutely a person. A 100% a real person. Flesh and blood. That is also most likely a person. Their account is private, though, so I can't tell for sure. This guy is a gym bro. Real person. Leaving comments like, always so beautiful. Like, I don't... I don't get it. Like, I get it when it comes to, like, VTubers and stuff. There is a there is still a real person behind that. Like, there, there's still someone there that you can really connect with through the VTuber model. I get that. This I don't, because it's entirely not anything. Anyone. At all. Nah, those are 100% bots, fam. No, man, I clicked on four different ones. One of them was private, so I can't say for sure. But the other three, 100% real. Like, one of them was a legitimate gym bro. All of his videos are him at the gym, working out. It's like a normal person. Paid comments? Eh, it seems unreasonable. I feel like I, I feel like you probably wouldn't be paying for those kind of comments. That'd be expensive for a couple hundred comments like that from real accounts. Oh, yeah, I remember that. AI models are crazy. I remember the one AI rapper, FN Mecca, that had some pretty cringe, lame videos in the past. Yeah, I remember Mecca. I do remember that. Didn't he end up, like, <laughs> what happened to Mecca? Didn't he get into, like, a scandal? <laughs> like, like, he dropped some, like, cringe on Maine that ruined him overnight? Damn, 10 million followers on TikTok. Yeah, no, I haven't posted since 2019. What happened? Nice, Ashton. Ten million followers. How many of those are real? Yeah, there's really no telling. FN Mecca kept saying the N word. Is that what it was? I remember, like I said, I'm pretty sure he got into a scandal. The fucking AI rapper scandal. Was that it? I mean, that, that might have been it. Yeah, it was this guy. This was an AI TikTok rapper.
Let's go back to the beauty pageant for AI models. The judges will determine that first, second, and third place winner with a prize package worth 20 grand in total. They'll be announced on May 10th. An online award ceremony will take place later that month. The creator economy is an extremely exciting place to be in right now, and with the help of our platform, there's been exponential growth in AI creators entering the space, growing their fan bases, and monetizing content. We jumped at the chance to be the first ever partner of the FanView World AI Creator Awards, which recognizes talent and tech, and will continue to raise standards within the industry. Miss AI is just one award as part of a program, and we share the vision for the Waikas to become the Oscars of the AI Creator Economy. Cool. He's a Prime Royal in the Reese of Iceman. Will they accept AI anime girls? I don't know. It's hard to say. Ooh, some AI furry girls. Yep, who knows? That might work. Yeah, the prize is twenty grand. How did the AI generated influencers even vote? Does someone prompt them to share their opinion? Your guess is as good as mine, I don't know. I don't know how they're supposed to the vote. Ooh, that's a huge guy. Yeah, that'd be a game changer. No, I still haven't seen Barry. I've just heard good things about it. AI president in the future. <laughs> yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Like some evil con carne stuff. I got like a brain in the jar that's powered by AI. Put it on a bear. What a throwback. I used to love that show, man. That show was great. There was only like an episode of it, but it was still cool, and they ended up getting put into the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy anyway. I still have not yet, Benchy. Thanks, Leon. I appreciate it. I don't think there's anyone that could have made it work, though. They just had a grudge, unfortunately. Any thoughts on the Warhammer tabletop games? I like the Warhammer universe. I saw they made drastic changes to it that the community was less than happy about, though, yesterday. I don't exactly know what happened, but I saw people were pretty upset. Or actually, I think it might have been two days ago now. Either yesterday or two days ago, something like that. I 
Oh, so some things that inside works. Yep, I know Keanu is voicing Shadow. I think it's a good idea. Well, that's what I always say, Steve. There's definitely incredibly positive implementations of it. It's not all doom and gloom. Upset, they basically shit on their own fan base. Again, I have no idea what happened. I just saw there was a lot of Warhammer drama yesterday on the timeline, but I didn't actually look into all of it. Thanks, membership car. Key day. They added women. What in Warhammer? Or what are you talking about? There is women in Warhammer. Even I know that. Uh, I can't imagine that's what's going on. Look at Keanu's playing the Shadow Hedgehog game to get ready for the role. I wish. I think the membership zero in Man Squirrel. Dune 2 is amazing. Absolutely. It's definitely worth watching. They added slash retcon women to the lore of a certain Warhammer 40k legion. I guess I don't really know in, in what way. Like I, I, Is that what all the hoopla was? Nah, there's got to be something deeper to it than that. There was like a lot of people talking about it. I'm assuming there was a lot more than just like the simple one sentence breakdown. I'll look into it later though. I'm always interested in getting into Warhammer because it seems like such a fun universe. Have you seen the guy making Tinder for AI women? He made a Jizzler machine for it too. He thinks women will be obsolete with it. It's called the Orphis. What in the world did I just read? And yeah, I did see that, Ryan. We talked about it. And that sounds fire, by the way, Ashton. Keep me updated on that. Where can I find out about this? I want to see the Orphis now. Where's the where's the source on that? You've hyped this up a lot now, but I'm not finding anything by typing in Orphis Tinder AI or Jizzler Tinder. So what do I type in to find this? No, I feel like you made it up. <laughs> like no, nothing's coming up for that. That's too ridiculous. Orphis.ai. <laughs> Let me try that. Oh, it's a website. Orphis.ai. April progress update. Can I put this on stream? Holy! Wait! 
The craftsmanship on this is impressive. I'm gonna... I can pull it up as long as he keeps the cap on it, I think. This should be fine. Let me just double check. Yeah, it should be fine. As long as the cap's on it. Look at that puppy! The, the Orphis! It's also double-sided, too. And it's got RGB gamer lighting in it. So you get your RBG pussy. That's kind of cool. Like, it looks really well made. So this is... No, no, this is the this is the Orphis. So I guess this would be the Jizzler machine, I suppose. There's a membership Kyloid. You can double team the AI box. True, yeah. I guess you could. That would be interesting, yeah. I guess if you and a friend got together to Eiffel Tower the box. But then if it like has some kind of power outage, it'd be like a Chinese finger trap with Wiener. Probably wouldn't be worth. But the capability of being there is cool. Hold on, let me look, um, let me look more into this. Well, he even has like a like an what is this an MRI machine in there, so you can see like the in the innards. The, this craftsmanship is so I said thorough. Take off. Your fucking panties. Oh fuck yes. Taking off my <laughs> Oh my god, wait. I probably can't even listen to this on stream. Yeah, he's got like entire text prompts in here. I'll have to look at that then fluffles. That sounds like a a big reaction to it. But I'll look. Hold on, I'm gonna mute it on stream so I can listen to it on my own real quick. Yeah, definitely, can't, definitely can't be watching this on stream. Clearly, <laughs> he has the box saying his name. <laughs> it says "fuck me, Brian." Oh, okay. This guy needs to work on his talk, though. It, it, the next line he had it, he had her say is. Breed me with your hot seed. Oh, come on. That's not hot. That's a, that's immediately like I'm going soft. Don't you speak to me like that. This is not Reddit. Okay, that's fine. The, the other one was fill me with your alpha seed. I like that one. Okay, pretty... Okay, I can unmute now. This is pretty interesting. Here's more testing with his finger. He's calling it the International Sex Station. I can definitely show this part, though. Look at the craftsmanship on that. So that's like the, the wormhole for Wiener. This is the, the base of it, and then he puts the... The fleshlights in there, I guess? I mean, they're more than fleshlights. It looks like they're handcrafted. Custom. This looks like something NVIDIA would have made. <laughs> His demo is really cool. I feel like I could probably show the demo, just... I don't know, it's probably not worth the risk. It just doesn't look very vaginal-esque. So I feel like it'd probably be okay. And he's using his finger to show it. And then he has like an MRI of the inside so you can see what's happening in the box. It's unironically impressive. There's the prime play. You could ejaculate into the multiverse with that. That's true. You could. You can send a load back in time. This is the Tinder dates Alpha Dom is getting. <laughs> Oh, 
Unfortunately, the website is pretty laggy right now. Oh. Yeah, it was loading kind of slow when I was on there as well. It is very impressive, though. If this ever hits the market, I'm going to try it. I've got to try it. The future is here. What are your thoughts on Red Hot Chili Peppers? I've said this a lot, and people usually don't like this, but it is what it is. Sometimes you got to ruffle some feathers. I do not like the Red Hot Chili Peppers at all. I feel like they've made one song, and they subtly change it every now and then and convince people that there's more than one song they've made. It is impossible to tell when one, one song of theirs stops and another starts. It's like the same fucking song. It doesn't look like there's any planned release date yet. He's still in the prototyping stage of the Orphis. But here, here's the features. It's an adult toy with computer vision system, text-to-speech, speech-to-text, and LLM, and generative moaning. I don't know what LLM is. I don't know if that's a technical term or a sexual one. LLM. Large language model. Okay, large language model. Gotcha. And here's the blueprint schematics. John Tidor has returned. He's back with a vengeance. Here to steal our Tinder dates. Are you going to have it call you moist? If if he gets, like, prototypes out, I'll order one, and I'll come up with, like, a really cool speech it can say to me. So when I'm plowing it, it'll say some really cool shit. It'll be like, oh my god, the former House of Caravan speed speedrun world record holder. Yes, that's the spot. Your dick is curved at just the right angle. If you go to the store, it has more info on it. No, I checked everything. I think it, I think I already went over all the main info. I'll double check though. Oh no, wait, you're right. There's a totally separate site. The future of sex is now. And this is <laughs> the future is looking pretty good. Let me tell you what. Discover a more connected, intimate, and interactive way to masturbate. Our vision. We aim to fulfill men's primal energies and desire for unconditional love. I don't know if this this really plays more into like loneliness than unconditional love, I gotta say. Like I definitely feel like it'll be fun in the moment, especially if the AI is telling me cool things. Like listing off my achievements. Charlie, you hitting that half court three point shot to win the game last week was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. Fuck me raw. But then once I do finally blow my load, I'm just going to feel really bad. Because it's me saying it to me. Worfus is the revolutionary adult toy that allows you to interact, connect, and feel real love without any shame or fear of rejection. Unless you ask for it. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'll just let the AI run rogue. Do you want to have sex? Absolutely not. Alright, I'll try again tomorrow. How about tonight? No. Okay, I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> Our innovative products are designed with men in mind, and we offer a range of options that cater to every unique desire and preference. Join the Orphis community and experience the difference for yourself. Ooh, I've not heard of that one, President. I don't have to look up the Crucible. Thanks, Risa Pingu. This is a wet vac with extra steps. No, 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 no. I haven't been able to show you the actual tech on stream because it's, it's. I mean, it's a, it's a fuck machine. I can't pull that up on stream on Twitch or YouTube. But he has built a prototype and it looks pretty impressive. Like the inner workings of it, it's, it's very fleshy. It, it looks bio. <laughs> like it looks 
organic, authentic. If you scroll down, there's a video of him testing the grip strength. Let me see. No, this is the video from the other side. Yeah, I already saw these with his finger. Yeah, these are the ones that were on the other site. But no, for, from everything I see, it's got strong grip. And yeah, we talked about Red Lobster a little bit. I just didn't have a whole lot to say. You might be right about that, Pete. Hey, glad to hear you had a good concert, Adish. If one malfunctions, do they have a guy who has to repair them? No, I feel like when one of these things breaks down, they just kind of write it off as uh, like a, eh, we had our fun. Like, I don't think people are desperate to fix their sex machines. Like, they're not going to have a service hotline number. Imagine the AI starts operating without consent. Yeah, the box, like, rolls its way into your room. Charles, it's time. No, God, Orphus, please... <laughs> I'm still sore. Have mercy. No, no. Ah. Yeah, I was going to play through all Ninja Gaidens at some point. I love Ninja Gaiden. Great series, except for Yaiba. Yeah, he made a prototype. He's he's got one he's got one prototype. I'm, I'm sure he's gonna pump out more. Glad you're enjoying it, Caitlin. Yeah, it was surprisingly good. It's resubliminated. Why does it have the RGB lights? Because it's cool. <laughs> what do you mean? Their mission is to fulfill men's primal energies and desire for unconditional love. That includes RGB. Can you imagine if you had sex with a with a human being right now, and the second you penetrated, fucking gamer lighting just starts blasting out the wazoo? I'd, I'd go crazy. I'd be like, yes! Yes, it's happening! <laughs> Thanks, Arisa, man. Pussy is sponsored by Razor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone brought that up a minute ago, Panda. I just haven't checked it out yet. I'll keep my eye on the Orphus. We'll see how that project develops. I am very interested now. I don't know if I'll moist meter it or not, but I definitely I definitely do want to check one out. I'll do like a, a thorough review. <laughs> nah, it won't malfunction. It's going to be built with love. Love doesn't malfunction. True, Rat. That is true. Mm -hmm. 
That I, yeah, that would be kind of cool. Bring it for dinner. <clears throat> Any updates on Black Myth Wukong? It's still slated to come out in August, I think, as far as I know. His Twitter is Prince of Fakes. There's promo vids there. He's a total insult and says sex is all women can bring to the table and dunk like that. Fun guy. <laughs> I mean, he's he's building a fuck machine. I'm, I'm not super surprised about that perspective. If that is the case, I don't know his Twitter. Or he might just be goofing around, I don't know. He's a prime Osvaldo. Just been going over stuff, musical analysis. Yeah, I'm all caught up on solo leveling. Part one was good. Here's a resub potato. That's oh, super sweet tomato. Yeah, message a mod to see, because I think you have to have like a, a permission for it. But I'm wishing you the best with the fundraising. I hope it goes well. And I'm sorry to hear about that. Stay strong. You doing Gears of War 3 campaign next week? I'll probably do Gears 3 campaign once I get... Gold 2 in Siege, I would say. I would say Plat, but Plat might actually be pretty tough. But yeah, I'm going to do some Siege grinding before Gears 3. And I didn't even hear about that. When did that happen, Wody? Oh, the Nunit. You're onto something big with that, Fluffles. Let me see this Overwatch 2 player that just got banned for saying some bad words. They apparently were swearing moderately and got banned. I thought the ban got overturned, but according to chat it has not, so let's see. Overwatch 2 players are getting banned for swearing and they're not thrilled. Blizzard's customer service is in hot water after a series of exchanges about Overwatch 2's profanity rules caught the attention of the community and subsequently went viral. Apparently, profanity of any kind is considered against the Hero Shooter's Code of Conduct, and if someone reports it, seemingly, regardless of context, you will get banned. The Overwatch community isn't thrilled with this new ruling, nor Blizzard's customer service representative's response. The saga started on April 12th when user Derpy82 posted a tweet asking for a response from Blizzard about their Overwatch 2 account being banned. The user attempted to use the native customer support features, figuring out why they were banned. It was only getting automated responses. It was in accordance to the terms, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought this was a professional player. I thought that's where it started. Blizzard's customer service representative responded to the post saying the ban was enacted due to inappropriate language and text chat, including the use of the F word and SH word, which is fuck and shit. Not exactly the most extreme profanity. He's not dropping slurs. Things are so bullio. Coming from a game where half the playable hero roster swears, and one of them even has the initials BAMF, which is badass motherfucker, on their belt, it's an odd blanket rule to throw over Overwatch 2, but nevertheless, it is the code of conduct which means, or that mentions, you may not use language that could be offensive or vulgar to others. The customer service rep pointed out that it is literally in the first section of the code of conduct under communication. Let me see that. <laughs> response to the tweet has largely been mocked for considering profanity inherently vulgar and for the flippant response from customer service. 
One user said that Blizzard should be banning people who use slurs and send death threats over people using profanity to which customer service account responded in a since-deleted tweet. Then report them, Joy. <laughs> wow. That was tough. That was hard. As you can imagine, this was not warmly received by community members like Streamer SK. Did Blizzard hire a bunch of youth pastors to run Blizz CS account? Why are they so concerned about policing people for saying fuck and shit in Overwatch all of a sudden? There are more than enough people dropping slurs and being weird in match chat for you to keep your jobs. <laughs> That's so true, though. That is a really weird thing to get hung up on. That's nothing. Overwatch 2 has a profanity filter that lets players avoid certain words altogether. However, according to customer service account, this tool is more so people can ensure they don't see those words in text chat when the rule is inevitably broken, rather than being used as a safety net for people who swear. Ugh. That's so interesting. That is so interesting. I'm familiar with that channel, Adriana. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll definitely check it out. Blizzard keeps doing their best to kill Overwatch. It does seem like it. It, it really does seem like it. Banning the people still left in there. No swearing on my Christian Minecraft server vibes. That is the vibe here. I really wonder why. I feel like they're trying so hard to make it the, the safe space that they're aiming for, and they've made it the most aggressively toxic place and, like, the most fearful place, or even just out-of-context words like shit are enough to get you banned. That's, like, the most unsafe place imaginable for everybody. Blizzard can't stop taking L's. Not when it comes to Overwatch, it seems. They made one really good change with their esports league, dropping Owl entirely and changing that. But man, everything else, what in the fuck? I appreciate it. Thank you, Chew. Happened two days ago, basically ISS was throwing away a six pound piece of waste and part of it blew through a family's roof. Jesus Christ, that's terrible. No, I did not see that. Hey Maki. I hope you're well. You hear the North Carolina man who was arrested after sexually pleasuring himself with a stranger's car for three years. Time like a exhaust pipe shenanigans? Let me see. But no, I did not hear about this guy. Take a peek. Hey, well, thanks, Fallon. Appreciate it. Yeah, man arrested after woman says he used her car to sexually pleasure himself for three years. 
Damn. That's a long time to be doing that, too. That is a steady relationship right there. A man was arrested in North Carolina on Monday for activity related to mechanophilia, a sexual attraction to machines or vehicles. An 82-year-old woman said the man, who she does not know, has been using her car to sexually pleasure himself for three years. The woman also said her car has been urinated on. That's not pee, ma'am. They arrested Walter McRae, 52, on Monday. Arrest warrants accuse McRae of getting on the hood of the car and sexually gratifying himself on multiple occasions. The latest case happened on Sunday. The woman said she tried to put cameras out to catch evidence of what was happening, but said McRae would move them. What cameras was she putting out? Like, iPhone on a tripod? How would he, how would he move them? I'm assuming she'd put, like, ring doorbell type cameras out. The woman said police eventually put out their own camera and caught what was going on. He's charged with felony stalking and five counts of damage to property. Man. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting world we live in. The cussy was too good. Guess so. I guess so. And yeah, we talked about the JoJo Siwa stuff. And we will be doing Elden Ring soon when it comes out. The DLC, that is. Thanks for membership, Tuco. And no, I definitely don't think it should win Game of the Year. And yeah, of course I'll keep doing it, Parker. Thanks, man. Smiling Friends is great. Yeah. This man needs the Orifice to find happiness. His life would change if he found the Orifice. Mechanophilia is such a weird rabbit hole. Remember the video of that one person who made love to an amusement park ride? Yeah, of course I do. The attraction of objects. There was also that other car fucker. I, I can't remember his name. But they were like filming a documentary on him. And then in the middle of the night while they were at a hotel, the guy went and ejaculated on the side door of their Escalade. The, the camera crew, that is. So he was even cheating on his car with their car. Thanks to the Prime. Shigogan. That's such a weird thing to be mad about, John, yeah. Thanks to membership, Artemis. Bro, if it was a Cadillac, I would've. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh yeah, there was also that guy in My Strange Addiction who fucked his car. They actually did a recent interview with him to see if he still fucks cars. They did a recent interview with that guy? I remember him. He was, uh, quite the character. What was his name? Let me look him up real quick. I'll see, I'll look at the recent interview. In a relationship with my car, Nathaniel. I think, uh, No. Yeah, it is Nathaniel. Where is their recent update? Is it the 2023 one? Yeah, I guess it's this one. Unfortunately, Chase is no longer a part of my life. I am now in an intimate relationship with my car, Lex. Woof! Oh, I didn't even get a really good look at it. The smoothness of her driving, the feel of her seats and stuff like that. I mean, that's stuff I pay attention to and, you know, just excited just to, I guess, be in her presence. Now I'm really dedicated to her and just want to be there, I guess, for her as much as I can. Who wouldn't? So with vehicles, She's stunning. I tend to place gender based on looks. Chase had more of a male look to me. And Lex, with her lights and stuff, she just has more of a curved appeal. And so she kind of resembles more of a... Soft woman. and tender, I would agree. She's got a cute little... Her cheeks and stuff, as I call it, kind of in this area. 
Lex has a lot of things about her that I really love. Her headlights, for one, she just has beautiful eyes. Her taillights are pretty to me as well. She's got a cute butt to me, I think. I like how her taillights. Where do you more. fuck it, though? My favorite thing is her interior. I just love her seats. It's just very comforting, and she does have a really nice smell to her. Just can't imagine life without her. Where don't you? Yeah, I guess everywhere would be accessible, I suppose. The cup holder? No, I, I don't know. I disagree with that. I feel like if you're looking at the car as an entity capable of sex, when you go inside of the car, you're basically inside of it. So I don't think you'd be fucking the cup holder. That'd be like having sex with someone's inner organs. You'd have to find, like, external things, right? So which only leaves the exhaust pipe and maybe some shit on the chassis. There's a membership, Parker. Nice, it sounds cool, Wabbit. He showed them how he fucks it, basically molests the steering wheel. Oh, that's kind of boring. There's Risa Boom. It's like the missionary of car sex. You could definitely get a lot freakier. Start slamming the hood on your meat. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, how's that feel? I have no idea what that is based. I've never heard of that trend. Oh, that's actually kind of creative. Yeah, I guess if you are going to molest the steering wheel... You could then uh, have it squirt, per se, with the windshield wiper fluid and everything. That's cool. Yeah, that's true. You could simulate that if you're using the steering wheel. That's creative. Thanks, Resub Cat. Membership Felon. I don't go super often, but I could definitely be interested, L. Yeah, you can also yeah you could sit on the <laughs> on the shifter too. That would work. I guess there is quite a few ways you could. Honking like moaning. Yeah, you guys. Okay, you guys are okay. We got some car fuckers in here. Yeah, you guys know all about the cussy. Yeah, that's, that all sounds about par for the course. There's a prime atomics. That could work as well, Mort, I suppose. Thanks to tier one. Edino. <laughs> My car runs on dick water and love. <laughs> Damn, so romantic. <laughs> Thanks to the re entitled. Sounds good, Al. Appreciate the invite. Oh yeah, First Omen I still haven't seen yet. I heard it's really good. I might have to check that puppy out. 
You playing Siege? Yeah, I'll hop on Siege real quick. We'll play like a game or two. Get a little grind going. Get the needle moving in the right direction. Things a membership. Oh, thank you for the 10 gift subs. No magic. Appreciate that. He might ghost knight if he's into anime. Thank you for the huge drop. What's your most played game on Steam? It's a good question. I don't know what my most played game is on Steam. <gasps> At some point I'll play some more New Vegas, yeah. Shogun blows my mind every week. Episode 9 was unreal. Gotta see episode 9. I haven't seen episode 9 yet. Came out today. Thanks for your Bob. That's the hardest part, Pete. Because it changes so often, it's like impossible to know. You just kind of caught it. You kind of got to just feel it out and just keep doing more research on it. That was the most... Concerning is the wrong word. It's just very volatile. Yep, that's really the only way is just hope for the best. Just run it and hope for the best. Are you on grandma's toes? My man. Let's ride. Oh, he hasn't. He only plays when <laughs> when I'm on. That's fire. What do you think of the horror called Smile? What's it on the Moist Meter? If you've seen it, I Moist Meter Smile. I actually liked it. That was a surprisingly good movie. I wouldn't put it up there with like horror greats or anything, but I did like it. Oh, nice Beach Boy. Uh, I, th I, th I think you handled it fine. And Jinxie just did that, Dan, but not 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 a bad coach or anything. Yep, I made a tweet talking about the drama with his review of the humane pin. I didn't really talk about it on stream though, but he just made a video talking about bad reviews ruining companies. Ultimately, bad products are what ruin companies, not the reviews. <laughs> they thought it was entertaining, Preston. And I know, Rainbow Six is so addicting. Do you prefer attacking or defending? I've started to prefer defending now. Attacking is kind of stressful for me without comms. Thanks, Resub Ray. Yeah, I'd like to get into CG sports at some point, I think. I need to pay, pay a little bit more attention to the pro scene. And I've been trying to. But I've been so into the game, I'd love to have a team in it to cheer for and hopefully win majors with. And maybe at some point, London.
I have not heard of that, Lola. We just have someone lock in Blackbeard? We're fucked. Uh-oh, I'm scared. Yep, no warm-up straight into ranked, per usual. How can bad reviews ruin companies? If a review is bad, it means the product is bad. Criticism improves, not destroys. If a company ends, it's because the product was bad. Yep. It's just brain rot shit. Where people are like, you're too mean! Think about the people that worked on this! But it's like, you made a bad product and you're charging $700 for it. Like, he's not calling you bad people for making a bad product, it's just the product's not good and he's reviewing it honestly. Make better shit. Improve. It's that simple. True, Jay. Yeah, it's it's very unique in that sense. I also changed my reticle color. I went with green. I think it'll help me out just a little bit. Yeah, Gears have been a lot of fun. The games hold up pretty well. Ooh. Too close. I'm coming in. God damn it. Oh, he just crossed. Damn, I missed it. That was a good shot. Thanks for your sub mushroom. And your sub hero. Sub Sarah. Thirty seconds. Let's resub Caltros. This one is clean. Damn, that guy kind of popped. I guess I'll just keep playing Ace. Well, I'll just do Ayana since we're not... Well, I'll just do Ace. I've changed my mind twice there. We'll just do Ace. Thanks for some Skeletor. In the Prime Hefe. Well, that was wholesome. Thanks for that Pringle. Gears 3 next stream. Won't be next stream, but it'll be soon. Thanks for some Agadena.
How goes the IEMs, or did you give up on them? I haven't given up on them. You did just remind me to put in the other earbud with that, though. It's just I need more equipment with them to make them sound good. Like what? I don't know, some kind of mixer or something, because it sounds like shit if I just plug it into the mic. No mute this time. Oh. Loading new mag. Oh. Wait, I don't see any of the... What is that? Okay. Damn, just saw that as I jumped in. Oh, and I stepped on that. Yikes. One HP in a dream, baby. You located a bomb. I wonder. Am I a big man? Nope, not a big man. Oh god. Oh. He threw himself to the to the wolves on that. Man, I hit a thousand traps there. Thanks a prime Naruto. That guy really wanted that action. I should have just opened it up next to him, but I really thought I had the angle there, but I couldn't reach. What rank are you now? Gold 5. Trying to make a push to plat now. Didn't take very long to get to gold, which is nice. Hopefully it won't take long to get to plat. And yeah, we talked about the Call of Duty League changes. Yeah. I'll get like a DAC or whatever, so that way I can actually use the IEMs. Oops. When walls are muted, throw your ace higher. Is that what it was? Those mute jammers that stopped my ace?
I think I just saw someone's head right there, didn't I? Yeah. Damn. Wow, my aim is bad right now. What the fuck? Well, he's super low. Oh, I knocked him. That guy needs to uninstall ASAP. That can't happen soon enough. Get this game off of your computer after that. Trust me, it's for the best. I do not, Chalupa. It's a claw machine. Thanks to give sub ginger. <laughs> Aces break shields. Did not even think about that. Wrong attachments are just bad recoil control. It was just bad recoil control. The second guy was fine. I, I got the the second guy pretty easily with the flick. It's just that first guy. I had a really hard time controlling it for some reason. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Who spotted me? You going for champ? I'd love to get champ, but I don't know. I'm definitely going to need to turn comms on pretty soon. I think I can hit plat no comms, but after plat there's no way. I'll have to actually be like queuing up. Actually have to have comms. But till then, I should be fine. Shit, I was too late. I was on com or er, on cams for too long. Damn, he's low. What? Wow, that guy pushed in fast. Straight up mid. He is carrying hard. This would be a crazy clutch. Bomb diffuser in place. Oh. That was close. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is a one-man army over there. Hmm. I guess just grab the same spot and I'll go Goyo this time. I didn't prevent their push with the... T what is it? T Tuberau? Whatever, you, however his name said. I'm a bit of a stinker here. Protect the bombs. That guy likes to push. I'm just gonna barricade that. Op uh, four has located a bomb. Plan your defenses accordingly. Ten seconds. Down to five seconds. Op uh, four has located a bomb. Oh my god, this is just open. Yikes, I wasn't paying attention. I think I hit him chest. Yikes. Alley from behind. I'm just dropping. Oh! Man, what the fuck? This guy just waited down here? I think it's a membership retro. <clears throat> Probably not. Probably wouldn't host one. I think all of my deaths are to that same guy. He's their entire team right now. Someone ping him? Yeah, they got him. Uh-oh. Mission critical. Bomb diffuser activated. Damn. One oh my god. Remains. This guy clucked. Oh my god, that's so sad. All friendlies were eliminated. Mission failure. Where was that other guy going? Eek, eek. Let's just go to Rook. He's a tier one wheelie.
Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. All right, time to make our stand. Having a real rough game. Stay controlling it even after time. I'm gonna hit him with that rook roam. That's the problem, I haven't been roaming. Oh man, that guy actually droned this. Actually, it's a pretty bad map for me to roam, I don't know it very well. Is there an entry here? No, it's just the server rack. Okay. And the same guy every single round. He is hunting me down everywhere. There's membership Anton and Tony. New sub commander. Rough game one. One friendly operator remaining. Using a bomb, you need to disable their diffuser. This would be crazy. Ah! I think there's already no time. That was sad. That was tough. That guy found me every single round. No matter where I was. Rough, 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 rough. Yeah, I know Keanu Reeves is voicing Shadow, I saw. I'm gonna take a tinkle while he's restarting. I'll be right back.
Thanks, membership, Iman. Yeah, I know I can change that setting, but I'm not going to bother. There's a prime outray. You see the dance Gavin dance news? I did not. What happened? Tillian is out. Ooh. Nice membership, Raspberry. So what's happening with the band now? Thanks, Purr. You only play golds in the game, or is it any rank? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know how it works. This dog shit. Uh, this map is trash. Yeah, solo loving was good. I liked it. Did Neon really die? Nope. He's a prime Denzel. <coughs> he did get detained, but he didn't die. That's just a bunch of gobbledygook online. Thanks, membership Cajun. Neon also did not get sentenced to a year in jail. That's just another lie again. Okay, let's... I want to roam. I'm going back to roaming. Yeah, the One Punch Man Season 3 trailer was surprisingly good. JC's staff isn't known for great animation, but that did look good. Protect the bombs. Oops. Deploying mobile cover. Ready for company. Zero percent chance that hits anybody, but might as well. much watching Shogun. I love it. Remaining. I think it is so good. Five seconds and counting. Keep an eye out for Op 4 attempting to defuse your bombs. Check this out. Laying out the welcome mat. 
Again, sometimes those brain dead spots work the best. Alright. I want to roam, but I do oh, I do not know this map at all. Oh! It's wide open. That was scary. Damn, that guy pre-fired that. Don't know if you're watching the stream or not, but you gotta watch a little more intensely. You almost timed it perfectly. No gears tonight. Why no gears? Because I'm grinding some siege. We're still going through all of Gears, it's just I'm not doing it back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Secure the bombs. Another great stupid spot for one. I'm in your game, good luck. Thanks, Chugles. That was you that pre-fired that corner, huh? You, you've got the same name in chat. So you were watching, eh? Alright. I'll just put these in stupid spots. There's a hatch somewhere here. Yeah, right here. Watch this. Someone's gonna drop right on this. Uh. Okay, this is just making a circle. Okay. Like that, they'll never expect two this deep. Oh, I know where I am. I know where I am, but I'm, it's a little late to roam now. Fuck. I had no idea there was a hatch there. It's not knowing this dog shit map. That'll get you. That will get you. Thanks, the membership guts. It's not bad, this is in Pro League. It's, my, it's by far my least favorite map. And it's not even close. Worse than Lair. Which one's Lair? Secure the 
bombs. Oh, thanks, Chugles. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Reinforcing wall. They use that hatch again, they're not going to expect the frost trap at the bottom. That's going to work. I just feel it. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds and counting. No, that's too off to the side. Protect your bombs from being defused by off board. Just gonna hold up here. There's a membership water cable. I want to roam, I just don't know where to go. Because I don't know this map. Like, how do I get to the back hatch? I'd like to roam over to the back hatch, but I don't know how. Here, this is a good time to explore, I guess. Membership, Christopher. That got close. We were all wandering. I guess I'll stay on site. I mean, it's stupid to roam on a map. I don't know anyway. I didn't even roam. I just stayed in the same spot. Oh, that was third. Of course, Zip. We'll still be watch partying it. I have one weird lock, I just don't like headsets. We need to locate a bomb. Oh, I couldn't make it through. That was kind of a waste of a drone. Should have stayed in that room. Did you not see it? Nice. Those plants are doing good work. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds before insertion. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Mm. Is this five? Is this the five ping? Activate the magazine. You have rescued the 
Damn, that guy just went crazy on him. He's super low. Wow. That guy just... Is that the fastest ace of all time? Holy shit. Damn, that guy just fucking held W. And I missed some easy shots on the uh, dock there. Use Grim. I only played Grim once. I didn't really like it that much. I don't know how to use his bees. Yeah, it's gold five. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. Grim best op in plat. Hmm. If you say so, I believe you. Five seconds before insertion. Thanks, resub HL2. Oh, pro league. You've located a bomb. Misread what you said. not know you could toss a nitro like that so he's in that window right Charge, just go. Got my RC. Uh, he's peeking on the right. Okay. One friendly operator remaining. I thought they were both on site. God damn it, I'm having a terrible game here. He's a tier one blazery. And the membership Noah. And Willow. Who knows, Noah? just played more. I'm playing too conservative right now. I'm not like sending it like I normally do. Like I could have easily won that fight there. But then I just played it so slow. Ooh, thanks for 10 gifted members, Crazy Frox. 
Crazy at Fox. Appreciate it. Drone has located a bomb. Thanks, Risa, bro. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds to go. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its All right, big round, big round. Need this one. How do I get down there? Yeah, here we go. These stairs. Oh, that, that was a person. I thought that was like a little laptop. Down to one friendly. Oh, yikes. That was such a free kill. I don't know. Like, I actually don't even know how to get in. I need one of them to like open this shit up for me. Oh. Like I don't know how to go around. Thanks for membership, Samuel. Thanks for five gift subs, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks for generosity. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that asshole. I'm sure I'm sure he'll feel better soon. here. I'm not going to get anything done with Ace. We need to locate a bomb. Ugh, it'd be a real shame not to win. I mean, this would be back-to-back -back throws. That'd be so sad. Not happening, Connor. Definitely not smoking a SIG. That shit sucks. Drone has located a bomb. How do how do I get up there? Where the fuck are the- here they are. Five seconds to go. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Is this where the stairs are? I don't know. Man, I have no fucking clue where I am on this map. Thank you. 
reloading ammo. I think one of those shot. Oh. I don't know how I'm supposed to. I don't think there's any way for me to hit that from this angle. But what I can do is this. He moved. Chest. He's low. I'm just gonna reposition. I don't know where to... How do I get... I don't know how to get around. Okay, not repositioning. I don't know where the fuck I am. Whoops. Oh, he's still on sight. He never moved. Oh my god. Eek. Looking promising. This team usually rolls out together, so I doubt I'll get anyone with like a deep room. But I kinda know where I'm at right here. Like I know that leads, yeah, he's already on that area though. I'll spread out, I forgot to pick up a t-shirt. saw me, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is this not outside? News to me. Thank you. 
Okay. I can't believe I missed that. Your location has been compromised. Op four, last operator standing. Thanks a membership, Kachow. Seconds left. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. That's a big shot. I really need to step it up here. I'm having such a shit game. Yikes. We'll do Grim one more time. There's a membership, Danny. We need to locate a bomb. Your drone has a bomb. I don't know how to get down there. That's that basement one. I have no clue how to get there. In ten this just leads back to spawn. Yep, I have no clue. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. And get there from here. Because I just go down these stairs. I know that. Drone. Oh, that's ours. Ammo. Oof. It's under me. I think you got him from the doorway. Oh boy, we're getting fucking slammed. Down to one friendly. Oh boy. All friendlies have been eliminated. Well, rough one. Fucking rough one. Eek. Eek. That was a terrible game from me. Holy shit. Uh, bees. Well, I don't even know where I would have thrown the bees. We got blasted so quick. I guess I could have thrown them down the hatch, but there was nobody there anyway. Wouldn't have done anything. No, not the D rank. Not the D rank. God. I hate that fucking map.
actually the worst map in the game. I hate that map so fucking much. I'd, I'd play Emerald Plains before that. Yeah, that's gonna be like the only map I ban. I hate that fucking map so much. Thanks, Jugles. Yeah, Dead by Daylight's been fun the few times I've played it. No, I'm not playing Grim here. I'm playing main ops. I really need to bounce back. That's back to back bad games. I'll do Grim for the first round and that's it. Sounds good, Hawk. I'll try. Five seconds to go. Thanks, Resub Quan. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. Oh my god. I just didn't. Uh, I certainly didn't expect a peak. Great start. Fucking great start. Damn, this guy's fucking slapping him. One off four remaining. Oh, this guy's the. Oh no, it wasn't the roamer. The diffuser is no longer in your possession. The diffuser is now secured. Stun grenade! Successful. 
Alright, I'll do Grim again since I didn't get to play that round. No, I'm not using the IEMs right now, just normal headset or head earbuds. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds to go. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Does this go through? I guess it didn't matter anyway because they didn't electrify it, but I was just curious. Where is it? Oh, it just doesn't tell me if I hit something. It's just this guy. Big team player. Whoa. Wait, oh, he didn't get knocked? I thought I heard him get knocked. Man, I just don't know audio cues. What was that What was that shout? If not him going down. Use the bees. Fucking where? I, I don't know, I just feel like the, I never think of the bees because I can just drone. But you're right. Thanks, Rexus. There's a tier one trail. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Next to Prime Rectal. Ten seconds. Drone has located a bomb. Five seconds before insertion. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Drop the diffuser. Oh. 
ready. Got one deployed. Yeah, right, we got a thousand fucking bees here. I'm reloading. Whoa. I just tried so hard to get the fuck out of there in the reload. One friendly operator remaining. I should have just stayed there and tried the fight. What am I doing? What an awful night here. Tough. Thanks for your sub, Chris. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't play tonight. I don't know what's going on. Missing every shot, making bad plays. It's a rough night. I cannot get it together. Try and peek. That's cute. I'll give it a whirl. Ten seconds. Five seconds left. That's a spawn there, right? Op four has located a bomb. Actually, I don't know where the spawns are. I think it's just there. Oh, this isn't gonna. I want a room, but I'm not very confident. Where does this lead? I heard someone repel. Thanks a tier one guy.
last one I th think is inside somewhere. Yeah. Down to 15 seconds. Did he ping the yeah, he pinged the room? Nice. Friendly victorious. Hostiles eliminated. That works. That'll work. <laughs> Is it prime miraculous? I can't remember if this is a good spot or not to do this. I think it's fine, right? Ten seconds left. Be advised, a bomb location has been compromised. Five seconds and counting. Do you want that? Oh, alright, I'll try. Op four has located a bomb. Let's see. We'll see how this goes. I'm not optimistic. Not with my aim tonight. I'm also just kind of in the middle. Playing real slow, these fucking cowards. I don't want to blow. Oh my god, that's what I was going to do. I was literally mid sentence saying that. Ooh, scary, scary. What? Oh my god, they're already in. Fuck, I thought I had more time to reset. Oh, never mind, he's not in. He just... Okay, tough. Oh, nice. That was clean. Man, that monkey business guy went nuts. Down to 15 seconds. Uh, four eliminated. Holy, I got carried really fucking hard in this game.
rough fucking night though. I couldn't hit shit. Eek. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it there. I, I am having some bad aim tonight. Back to gold. So we'll just, we'll stay planted there and I won't tank my rank further. It's an off night. And yeah, we talked about that earlier, famo. Alright, I'm heading out. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the generosity. Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. Bye-bye.